Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Brother Hobby Avenger 3120 500 kV motor. This is the biggest motor that I've tested to date and in this video I'm going to quickly go over its features and specs and bench test it using my Taito Robotics motor fast end using 10, 12, 14 and 15 inch propellers in order to decide which combination is going to work best as I'm going to feature a set of these motors in an upcoming build and fly video in which I'm going to build a quadcopter using a frame with a wheelbase of 650 millimeters. The Brother Hobby Avenger 3120 motor is available in two kV options, 500 and 700 kV. In this video, I'm only going to test the 500 kV version due to time constraints and according to its specs, the 700 kV version is compatible with up to 8S batteries and the 500 kV version is compatible with up to 12S batteries. Of course, it depends on the setup that you're going to use. My setup is limited to 6S batteries and that's why I'm going to use it with bigger propellers in order to check how it's going to affect the power and efficiency of this big motor. As for its specs, this motor is using a motor mounting pattern of 19 by 19 millimeters. It weighs just under 142 grams, including the full length of the 30 centimeters long 16 gauge silicone coated wires. The stator is secured using a hex screw, and here you can see what it looks like after separating the stator from the motor bill. Inside the motor bill, you can find 14 high quality magnets. The hollow shaft is made out of titanium alloy, and on its top side, you can find a grip pattern for better securing the propeller. As for this big stator, its diameter is 31 millimeters and its height is 20 millimeters. Now, after this very quick introduction, I'm going to share with you the thrust test results of this motor. While I'm still not 100% certain which propeller I'm going to use on my setup, unfortunately, I am not going to be able to use any of those propellers because they're only manufactured in counterclockwise models. I'm pretty sure that I am going to go for a 16 or a 15 inch propeller and it was quite interesting and not very surprising to find that the bigger the propeller, the more efficient the motor gets and of course the maximum thrust of 4 kilograms was achieved when I used the 15 inch propeller. Dev C for example in his builds is using a relatively big propeller for the size of the motor so it makes sense that in case you are going to increase the size of the propeller, you are also going to increase the efficiency of the motor. Having that said, of course there is a limit and you can't just use a 15 inch propeller on a 1404 motor, but still in my opinion it's going to be very interesting to try to calculate what is going to be the best propeller size to motor size ratio that is going to provide you with the best power efficiency and hopefully I'm going to be able to figure it out soon. Now I'm going to show you the thrust test results, which are as always linked down below and concentrated inside a PDF file. However, I do want to show with you the footage from the actual thrust test because I think that you might want to see how the motor and propeller performs in action. Keep in mind though, that as I mentioned before, my setup is limited to 6S. So for example, if you'd like to use the 10 inch propeller, you better use it on an 8, 10, or even a 12S setup. And as for the vibrations that you're about to see when using the bigger propellers, they were caused unfortunately due to the way that they were mounted on the motor. Anyway, now I'm going to share the thrust test results. And of course, in case you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.